Absolutely. And our word for today on this Friday, the 27th week in Ordinary Time, this Friday, October the 11th, our word for today is stronger. Stronger, our word for today, and here to talk about it, Debbie Giorgiani. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on this beautiful Friday. Today is Dave's and, Dave and Eileen's anniversary. It's Oh, happy anniversary. Yeah, thank you That's very, very much. Uh, people were taking bets, and uh, <laughs> she said yes anyway. <laughs> it's like a 3% <laughs> chance, uh, but she did it uh, all those years ago. I'm very, very thankful that she did. Oh, that's fantastic. I hope you have a beautiful day. Tomorrow, uh, today is um, uh, Pope St. John the 23rd uh, feast day. Tomorrow is Blessed Carlo Acuti, so mm. you're in a your wonderful time. Um, so that's fabulous. Hope you have a wonderful anniversary. Thanks. But stronger, um, yeah, stronger. So picking up where you, um, what you, what you mentioned about the body of Christ, Dave, mm. and um, I just wanted to share with our listeners, I mean, I feel so incredibly um, driven to get this out there. I don't know why it's been this way for about a couple years, this idea that to really impress upon uh, folks the the participation in the body of Christ, the activity in the body of Christ, how the mystical body of Christ works. We A lot of times in this world, we don't think about that a lot. You know, mm. we're functioning on our own, trying to get through life and trying to really um, just navigate things and, and really just make it really survive. You know, some, most people are basically just surviving rather than Mm. thriving. And that's unfortunate, but if we could, if we could think bigger and we could understand the, how the body of Christ works and our key role, each individual person, the, the very key place that they hold in the body of Christ, it, it does and will make us stronger if we enter into that. And that's, that's huge. And I just, I just want to emphasize that, that I wish that, that we could take time every single day as we wake up in the morning to recommit to our participation in the body of Christ. And we're either destroying the body of Christ by our sins, our individual sins, or the things that we do to hurt the body of Christ, or we're building up the body of Christ. And our role and our goal should be to build up the body of Christ. And if we can get into that place every single day of thinking about it, meditating on it, understanding it, living it out, because we are Christ in the world, right? We're Christ's hands and feet. That's what people see. If we, if we start to ade- develop that concept and, and apply it to our lives on a regular basis, when we interact with our own family members or when we interact with um, you know the greater community in our in our neighborhoods, our work, our parishes. It's so it's such a a interesting concept. It's a, obviously it's a very mysterious mystical concept, but it's it's fascinating because once you start to think that way, or I should say, think through the body of Christ. Man, does everything change in this world? It just the way you look at people, the way you way you uh, approach people, the way you encounter people. It's incredible. I just know from my life, it's taken me a long time. But I live in the diocese of Phoenix, and our and our motto here is building up the body of Christ. Mm. And I always remembered that in religious education, we used to talk about it. But I never really deeply entered into the thought process of it. And now I have, as I get older, and boy, is it a game changer. Yeah, and you think about how does the church look at this? Obviously, the church is very aware that our yes and our no means a lot, not only in our relationship with God, but in our relationship with one another. Look at the penitential rite at Mass. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. So obviously, there's an effect, or why would that even be included in our penitential rite, that not only are we confessing to God, but to one another, because we know it has an effect on each other. That's true. Absolutely. And that's why we should realize, you know, like we commented at the beginning that this is your anniversary. You know, I know you're celebrating this anniversary with Eileen. It's very special to the two of you. You're married. But really, we should be celebrating with you. That's how the body of Christ works. Mm 
I when, agree. When one, Gifts can yeah. be sent to... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the gift table set yeah. up. Here is the address. <laughs> <laughs> gift cards are preferred. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's Friday. Okay. <laughs> and Thank what, you, Tim. What are we looking forward to at noon oh. today on Take Two? We're talking about life is precious, right? As we're in the middle of the 40 days for life, we're mm. talking all life is precious from the womb to the tomb. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. And tomorrow in the spirit world as well, 11.30 a.m. across Annunciation Radio. Don't miss that. Yes, but blessed Carlo Acuti tomorrow. Mm. Love it. That's going to be a wonderful show on that particular day, right? <laughs> yep. Pretty cool. Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you, Debbie. Weekend. You too. You too.